What's up, it's Brains here, and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how you can use in-game animations from Valorant and import them into Blender so you can use them on your characters. This tutorial will be using the following softwares, Blender, Umodel, as well as the game Valorant for this to work. So let's start. First thing that we will download is we will download the Blender 3D Import PSK PSA add-on. To download it, go to Code, Download Zip. Next, we will open the zip in our folder. We will right-click. And as you can see, here it is. From here, we can drag this to our desktop. We only need the add-ons folder. Next, we will go ahead, open up Blender again. We will go to Edit, then Preferences. From here, we'll go to add-ons, hit install, go to desktop, choose the add-ons folder, and we want to choose the 280 Python. Hit install add-on, search for it, make sure it's checked, click these three dots, save preferences, refresh, and close. So now on the right side here, we have this PSK, PSA importer, and we also can just import it from here. This is all we will need Blender for, for right now. We can also delete the add-ons folder. Next, we want to make a new folder called the Umodel. As you can see here, I already have mine set up. All it is, is a few text documents and a fit and Umodel. As you can see, this is the text document. It is my directory for the game pack files as well as the AES key that I need to access those files. This is something that came with umodel, it is just a log. This is the DLL and this is umodel itself. And this is the config. You'll start by downloading umodel. Link will be in the description. We want to download the Windows 32 version, and I'm going to call this Umodel Main in the description. Next, we will have another link, and this will be the Valorant Umodel.zip. So, we want to find the post by Spirit of Vod and download this Umodel Valorant.zip. From here, we will open up Umodel and drag these three files into our Umodel folder. Next, we will download our Valorant zip file and extract the application that says Umodel Valorant and delete the original Umodel. So now we can just go ahead, open up Umodel Valorant, and this is what it should look like. From here, we will enter in our pack files. So click these three dots, go to where Riot Games folder is, Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Content, Packs, select folder, and here is our directory. Next, we'll choose Override Game Detection in Unreal Engine 4. Next, we will choose Unreal Engine 4.24 and check sound. If 4.24 does not work in the feature, try 4.25 or 4.26. Next, we're gonna hit OK. And now we have to enter our AES key. This will be in the description of the video. As you can see, we are in the game files. So the animations are stored in a variety of places. All the character ability animations are stored under the characters folders. So let's say I want to go to Jet, SO, and let's say Ability 4, third person animations, here they are. And this is under the game folder, not the engine. The rest of the animations are stored under equipables, so this is guns, melee, etc. So in this case, I will be exporting the operator so to do this what we will do is we will open up guns we'll go to sniper rifles bolt sniper s0 third person animations as you can see these are all the bolt sniper animations so i will find both the equip lb and ub um names the lb stands for lower body and the ub stands for upper body let me set this up so from here, we will click export and we will make a new export folder, which is right here, and you'll hit OK. As you can see, here it is. 
So we go to equipables, guns, sniper rifles, bolt sniper, SO, third person animations, and here are our animations. We can drag both these PSA files to our desktop. This is all we will need you model for right now. Now we can start by opening up Blender. Inside of Blender, we want to delete the cube. We can just drag and hit delete on our keyboard. From here, we want to bring in our character. So we want to do file, append, and we want to download a character. You can find Valorant character assets really easily. Rockland made a pack if you want to download. As you can see, these are all the characters that I have. I'm going to choose Sage. Go to object and append it. So as you can see, this is the rig. Um, we want to select this orange mesh here, not the bones. So we want to make sure we have this orange outline. Now there are two ways to do it. We can do file, import PSA, or we can just click on this arrow, go to PSK PSA, and we'll hit import PSA, and we will find the UB PSA. So now if we play it, as you can see, it works. However, in some cases, the character will be rotated completely sideways. To do this, we will go to the rotation X and just click negative 90. And then if we hit enter, it will flip it to vertical uh, axis. But in this case, it's fine, so we don't need to change anything. Next, we will go ahead and bring in our character again. and just move her out of the way. From here, select the orange again. However, this time we choose the LB. So now, what we'll do is if we play it, we can see that the feet stay on the ground the entire time if we have the LB, but on the right side here, as you can see, they move all around the place. So to fix this, what we'll do is we will select the bones of the LB character. We will go to pose mode. Next, we'll hit W. And we want to select all these bones here. Next, we want to head where the keyframes are active. Right click, copy, 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 copy. And make sure you hit A while uh, your mouse is hovering over the keyframe panel. And just copy it. From here, we will go to our upper body. Go back to pose mode. Select all these bones here. Hit delete. Next, we're going to hit I on our keyboard. And we're going to choose rotation, rotation, and scale, and paste. Okay guys, so as you can see here, it took a bit of work, but I did manage to paste the animation. Um, not that hard. However, you might notice that the face is uh, very messed up. So to fix this, we can delete this uh, sage here. Bring in our new sage by appending it, moving it away. However, this time we go back into pose mode with these bones selected. From here, we will want to select the face bones, only the face bones and the hair, so no, no none of the neck or anything. From here, we'll choose I, and we're going to hit location. From here, we'll copy the keyframe. Next, we'll go to our other character here. And we want to select the character's bones that are not the neck or anything. So in this case, that seems fine. Your eye, location, paste. So as you can see here, we have our character um, officially set up. Um, wasn't that hard to do. It only took me around 15 minutes total. Um, so now, as you can see, if I just go into rendered view, Everything should be fine, um, and the essentially the equip animation is finished. However, now we need to add the gun. So to this, we'll go file, append, and we'll go ahead, grab the gun. Once, once again, Rockland made a pack, you can download that in the description. Uh, this is just my personal collection of all the guns that I have ported. Um, so in this case, I might go with the... Um, Red alert operator, since I know that one works well. No. 
Next, we want to select this mesh here. We'll go to add object constant, child of, and you want to go ahead, click this eyedropper tool, and you want to choose the character. Under the bone, uh, you want to choose whichever hand. For most guns, it's right hand, but in this case, since it's an operator, it's the left hand. Don't ask me why that is, just is. So click set inverse, and from here, we will position the operator into the character's hands. For me, it helps to have two windows so I can just uh, position it as I need to and get the angle right. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I like this a lot. Um, if I just go ahead and preview this again and um, play this. As you can see here, the gun is working really nicely. Um, you might have to go ahead and animate this here, this bone, um, move back and forth, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue if you know what you're doing. Um, but yeah, so from here, you know, you can save it, do whatever you want, and um, yeah. Anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Have a great day. My name is Brains, and peace.